Hi everybody, this is Julian from AWS. In this video, I would like to show you how to use MLflow to deploy machine learning models on Amazon SageMaker. MLflow is an open source library that lets you track and organize your machine learning projects, and uh, you can also deploy to uh, different locations. Uh, MLflow supports all kinds of frameworks, all kinds of algos, so that's pretty cool, and uh, I'm going to use XJBoost here. Uh, let's get to work. First, I need a data set, of course, and uh, I'm going to uh, use uh, a data set I've used before for direct marketing. So it's a very simple data set that you can easily download from, from the web. And uh, it has about 41,000 samples, 20 features, and a label telling you yes or no if a certain customer has accepted a marketing offer or not. So it's an easy one, and, uh, and we're going to use XJBoost to build a binary classification model. So uh, here's my code to, to load it. Basically just grab the file from the web, read it as a pandas data frame, do very basic processing here, just uh, a one hot encode categorical variables, and then uh, basically split the, the data frame into features and labels, and then uh, split the data set for uh, training and uh, testing, right? What about those lines? Well, they're uh, MLflow APIs that let you log all kind of information, you know, pretty much anything you want on, the, on your experiments. So uh, we'll see how this is useful when we're training the model, okay? But as you can see, I'm logging uh, the path to the data set and its shape and some of the splitting parameters, and I just uh, flag the fact that I uh, used one hot encoding on categorical variables. Okay, so that's just my uh, my loading function here. Nothing, nothing weird. Now, what about training? So, like I said, I'm going to use XGBoost, and the first thing I'm going to do is create an experiment in MLflow. And an experiment is just uh, you know a, a project pretty much where we're going to store information on uh, as many training jobs as we want, right? And before I do that, I need to start MLflow. So we can easily do this. Start the UI. Okay, and then I can just open that window here. Okay. All right, so that's a, that's a local UI, but uh, you can also use a, a remote server if you want to. Okay, so now let's look at the code. Well, the code is very straightforward. So start a run inside that experiment, uh, load the data set. Okay, that's the piece of code we just saw. And then basically build an XJBoost classifier using the uh, AUC metric, training, scoring, printing out uh, the, uh, the metric, logging that metric to MLflow, and then logging the model to MLflow. And uh, we'll see how this is useful, basically saving the train model so that we can deploy it later, and then end the run. Okay, so let's just uh, run this code. Okay, creating a new experiment loading the data set and training it should change for just a few seconds okay and we see AUC is 91.7 now if we go to the UI here and reload <coughs> we can see uh, our training job here I can see the parameters that I uh, stored okay when loading the data set I see my metric Okay, and that's, you know, it's not really graphing here because I logged it only once, but imagine you were logging a metric after each epoch or something, you would, you would see graphs, right? Okay, and uh, again, very simple job, but I can see this. And uh, if I run it again, then I'm going to see a different run and I could try different hyperparameters and I could keep track of all that stuff inside the UI. So that's pretty neat. Okay, okay, now we have a model. So let's see how we can deploy it. Um, we have actually two options. One option is to deploy locally, and that's one of the cool features in MLflow, or we could deploy to SageMaker. Okay, so let's do both. Of course, let's start with local deployment. If we take a look at the MLflow documentation, we can see 
of course we have uh, SageMaker APIs and uh, we have APIs for all operations including local deployments okay but there's also uh, a CLI that we can see here okay uh, so you can use uh, the one the one you like best and I'm gonna use the CLI and yeah. I could check that CLI ML flow SageMaker help okay and that's the run local command that I want here so what it needs is basically I prepared it um, it needs the model path and the local port okay so I defined some environment variables to make our life easier here okay so I'm gonna use that's the path to the model I just trained I'm gonna deploy locally to port 8888 and then I just need to run this command here okay Okay, and we see that the model is being deployed locally um, and it's downloading the, the required packages according to my training script. All right, uh, so let's uh, just pause the video for a second and uh, I'll be back. Okay, so the model has been deployed locally. So now the only thing I have to do is just load my test set, grab the first 10 samples and use the request library to HTTP post to that local model okay and this is really standard Python code here just posting uh, in JSON format and printing out results okay so let's run this okay and I can see uh, the 10 predictions for this model okay and of course these are probabilities between 0 and 1 because we built a binary classification model okay so Local deployment. Now, what about deploying to a SageMaker endpoint? Well, uh, as you know, we need a container for this. Okay, uh, we need to build a prediction container that gets pushed to uh, Amazon ECR, the uh, Docker registry service, and this is what SageMaker will use to create the endpoint and load the model. Um, and building that container is not always easy, right? Uh, Fortunately, uh, MLflow provides a super simple way to do this. So again, you can use an API or you can use the command line. I'm going to use the command line. So the first thing we need to do is to build a container because as you know, SageMaker uh, is based on Docker containers. And so we need to have a container that gets deployed to uh, an endpoint on a fully managed instance. And inside this container, SageMaker is going to load the model. Okay, so how do we build that container? Well, it's actually super simple. Okay, the only thing you need to do um, is to run this command. Okay, mlflow SageMaker build and push container. And what this does, as the name implies, it's going to build a Python uh, environment inside a container. It's going to push it to uh, your uh, one of your ECR repositories. And, uh, and you can just use that one to deploy to the endpoint. Okay, nothing, nothing more complicated. So I've run this before, so this is going to be super fast. Uh, if you run this for the first time, it's going to take a few minutes and you only need to do it once, okay? Uh, you don't need to do this every time because it's, um, it's a vanilla container where uh, your specific libraries and requirements will be installed as you deploy the endpoint okay so don't run this all the time it's not needed okay and uh, i should be able to see this uh, repo so let's just uh, describe it okay using the describe images and i can see um, mlflow created an mlflow python repo and it pushed this image inside of it okay so again you just need to do this once okay and then you're good to go so now we can move on to deploying and deploying again is a one line thing. Okay, you only need to do this, MLflow, SageMaker deploy, the app name, which is really the endpoint name, the model path, um, the role, the IAM role. So you can just use your uh, the ARN or your SageMaker role and of course the region you want to deploy. In. Okay, so I can just run this now.
Okay, and here we go. And this is going to take a few minutes. So let's just pause the video and I'll be back. After a few minutes, the endpoint is up. So let's check the SageMaker console. Yep, so I can see the endpoint is here. Seems to be okay. Uh, well, not much happening for now. I can see by default, this is deploying to M4 Excel. I didn't specify an instance type when I uh, deployed the endpoint, but of course you can uh, you can pass extra parameters, uh, instance type, instance count, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, and if we look at the log, well, we see we see packages being installed, right? Um, just like I said, this is a generic uh, container, and it will automatically install using Conda the packages that are required by the trading script. So that's pretty cool. You don't need to mess with that. And then we see uh, a Goonicorn starting and we see the health check, etc. Et yep. It's all good. Okay, so now let's predict. And in order to do this, well, um, I guess we're back to uh, SageMaker business as usual. Grab a Boto3 client describe the endpoint check it's fine load the test set once again grab the first 10 samples and then um, send them to the endpoint in a single request and print results so let's run this bit of code and we should see predictions Yep, so we can see the endpoint in the service, and once again, I get my 10 predictions, okay? So this is really the exact same code you would use on, uh, on SageMaker because it is a SageMaker endpoint. So there you go, this is how you, um, this is how you deploy models on MLflow, and uh, what I like about it is you can work locally. Uh, as you saw, I used PyCharm and Docker, and I was strictly working on my laptop here. Uh, debugging my script, checking at uh, the different uh, experiments in the uh, MLflow UI, running and testing locally, and then when I'm happy with the model, I can just deploy that to uh, manage infrastructure on SageMaker with uh, minimal fuss. The container is taken care of automatically, no matter what I use, I will end up with a, a proper container on SageMaker. Creating the endpoint is super simple. So I think that's an interesting uh, that's an interesting combination, and of course, you can do 100% of this using APIs. I use the mix of APIs and CLI, but if you want to automate completely those workflows, then stick to the Python APIs, and you can automate that stuff very 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 easily. Well, that's it for today. Hope you liked it, and I'll see you soon with another video. Bye bye.